Monotonicity of preferences. What does this mean? Mono means more. Monotonicity means more is better. What do we mean by monotonicity? Let us go ahead and take an example of the same. Let's say that we have two bundles X and Y. Then X consists of X1, X2, X3 till Xn. Y consists of Y1, Y2, Y3 till Yn. Monotonicity implies that X bundle will be preferred over Y if X has more as compared to Y for every good. So, the amount that this contains X1 is more than Y1, X2 is more than Y2, till Xn is more than Yn. In fact, this is the concept of strict monotonicity, which we will talk in some other video. So monotonicity says X is preferred to Y if this condition is satisfied. But we have another definition of monotonicity, which says that a bundle X is preferred to a bundle Y if it has more of at least one good and no less of the other good. Let us try to understand what this means. This means that suppose I have a bundle X, it has four apples and five oranges. Right, oranges. And bundle Y, it also has four apples, but three oranges. So X has more of oranges and no less of the apples. It has the same number of apples than Y. So the number of apples is same, but oranges are more, therefore X is preferred over Y. This is another definition of monotonicity. Now, consider this. Suppose I tell you that X has four apples and five oranges and Y has five apples and four oranges. Then, in that case, comparison is not possible. I cannot apply monotonicity because this property is not satisfied. Okay, X has more of oranges, but it also has less of apples. So I cannot go ahead and compare the two bundles. Let's see if monotonicity is actually satisfied for your well-defined preferences. It will be satisfied for well-defined preferences if the bundle which has more of the good provides higher utility. So, jo bundle mein zyada commodities hain, uske utility bhi zyada honi chahiye. Let us take an example. Utility function of well-defined preference can be x, y. Let's take a bundle 2, 5. What is the utility it provides? 2 into 5, which is 10. Now, let us increase the consumption of good x to 3 and consumption of good y to what is the utility from this bundle? The utility from this bundle will be 3 into 6. 3 into 6 is 80. So we can clearly observe that when I increased the bundle consumption, the utility also increased. Therefore implying that we actually have monotonic preferences. 
So yes, a well-defined indifference curve satisfies monotonicity. Now let us try to think about this diagram. It's very interesting. Note that. Let's take any bundle. So let's take the bundle 4, 4. Anything above this means more of good X. Anything above this means more of good Y. So consider a region here. In this region, as compared to this bundle A, I will have more of both the commodities. Like take a bundle here. Maybe this is 5, 5. Take a bundle this. Maybe this is uh, 6, 5. Take a bundle here. Maybe this is 8, 8. So in the green region, I will have more of good X and good Y as compared to bundle A. Similarly, in the pink region, I would have less of both good X and Y. You take any point. It has less than 4, 4. So by monotonicity, this should be strictly preferred region. And this should be strictly avoiding region. That means A should be preferred over this region. But now look at a point here. Suppose point B. But in point B, you have more of good X, but less of good Y as compared to A. Y is decreasing. X is increasing. I cannot say B is preferred over A or A is preferred over B. I cannot compare. Similarly, look at point C. But as compared to A, at point C, my X is decreasing. But at point C, my Y is increasing. Again, monotonicity cannot be applied. Because consumption of one good is decreasing and other is increasing. Well, this is the region where your ICs will pass through. Right? So, ICs have this above region which is strictly preferred to your IC. This is the region where IC is preferred over this region. And in between is where your IC points will lie. This point and this point. This is where your IC will lie. This shape of IC is actually also coming somewhat from the property of monotonicity. Okay. Thank you.